Do you think that Elvis is the biggest star ever and there will never be one as big as him? Elvis just, he had that persona about him. The entourage and everything. The he built around everything that he built around himself made him so big. Uh, you know, there's other guys like Michael Jackson and stuff who, who kind of had that same kind of feeling about him, but I don't know. You know, you got Taylor Swift, who's got thousands and thousands of fans standing outside of the stadium, singing the songs, which is, <laughs> I've never seen or heard anything like that. That's incredible in itself. But Elvis, the, the people still going to Graceland today by the thousands to see where he lived. I don't know if people's going to be going to Taylor's. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. I don't know, but uh, I don't. I don't think so. So you just took my entire. I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently. Elvis, you know, I've been listening to him more recently. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Graceland in two thousand nine. I had the experience that you were just basically when I was walking around his place in two thousand nine, two thousand eight. It was my first time in Graceland, and it was an SEC Saturday in the South. I mean, I know it's Memphis, but we're still in the South. Um, the place was packed mm. with international travelers from everywhere. And I remember thinking, since this has been, he passed away in 77. This is still what's mm. going on in this house, and it's still going on today. Yeah. And I, it's almost the exact point that you were making. Like, I'm thinking, like, as big as a Taylor and a Michael are, well, Michael's, his reputation has been a little diminished. Yeah. I don't think there will ever be another Elvis. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been to a lot of singers' houses and places, uh, tours or museums and whatnot. Going to Graceland is like going to the Grand Canyon or Old Faithful in Yellowstone. It's people everywhere from like you said international all over the world in there and it's just mind-blowing because you're just in this giant crowd of people who's here to see elvis's stuff and <laughs> i don't think there will ever be anything else like that i don't either and i guess what i'm saying that is kind of the point we we're trying to make is that's going to live on for as long yeah i don't think there was ever an elvis before elvis so there's been Elvis's since Elvis is my point. You know, mm -hmm. there's been big stars since then. He was the first of his kind. And amazingly, I think he'll be the biggest artist ever that has the longest lasting legacy. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a bit of controversy about Elvis been for the past few years about him uh, kind of stealing the black musician style and stuff and, and music. I don't think that was ever Elvis's intention. As somebody who's really dug into Elvis's history and past and the way he was, he respected those people. He did dearly respected those people. I mean, one of his really good friends was B.B. King. Mm -hmm. They, you know, cut their teeth together. I think he just really respected the, the music. He grew up in that Southern gospel environment with those kind of people singing those songs and I think he I think he had a respect for it and just loved being a part of it, loved the music. Um, so I just wanted to say that just because I, I do think that he had that respect for that music. Thanks for watching this clip of Country Drive. To see more in the future, please hit like and subscribe.